Welcome to another video in Travel Small Live Big's Campground Favorite Series, and welcome to Lake McSwain Recreation Area in Mariposa County, California, another beautiful spot in the lower western Sierra foothills. I'm editing this video on a very rainy and windy day here in Southern California, and being that we live on a boat, it can be loud. You may hear that in the background. If this is your first time or hey 90th time visiting our channel, please consider subscribing for my videos in this series. Lake McSwain is about 30 miles northeast of Merced and a bit over 50 miles east of Modesto, and it's actually the after bay for Lake McClure. This lake is just southwest of Lake McClure and was formed by the building of the McSwain Dam on the Merced River. This lake has a speed limit of 10 miles an hour, a definite attraction to us over Lake McClure, as McClure is popular for water skiing, wakeboarding, things like that, and we of course were opting for something ah, a little quieter. The water level is kept up at McSwain pretty much year round. The water is on the cold side, but swimming is permitted and fishing is definitely a big attraction. The campground offers over 100 sites for tents or RVs up to 40 feet, and I believe there's 65 sites with either partial hookups or full hookups. We opted for a dry site, site number 9 in Loop A, and in December of 2019, paid $22 a night. Reservations are accepted online at lakemcclure.com. There is a ranger station at the entrance to the Lake McSwain and Lake McClure recreation areas. The ranger did assign the site, however, we had researched the sites ahead of time and the lakefront A9 site was our first choice and yay, we got it. Each site has a standard picnic table, barbecue, and most, if not all, had shader matas. Very cool. The campground is set up in four main loops with a few offshoots of smaller sections. There are also six cabins for rent, and during the summer months, a store and cafe. The campground offers drinking water, flush toilets, showers, a boat ramp with a small marina, a play area, and a dump station. Being December, it was a bit chilly at night, and I'm sure it gets pretty hot in the summer. It was very family friendly. Some sites and loops are quite crowded, full of families. We were there between Christmas and New Year's and it was nice to see so many families out camping. It very much felt like a family campground and not like a party campground, perfect for us. And what to do here? Kayak, hike, walk, bird watch, fish, or simply sit and enjoy. If you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and remember, we like comments, questions, and campground suggestions. Thanks for watching.